Today, we're gonna be harvesting some sweet potatoes. This was filmed at our community garden, which mainly focuses on getting disabled people back into gardening. The garden was closed for more than two years due to the COVID-19 pandemic, which allowed the weeds to take over the soil and cover the whole garden, especially perennial weeds like kikuyu grass and bindweed. So, when the restrictions were finally lifted, these beds were cleared and planted with sweet potatoes in the spring. The good thing with planting these sweet potatoes was not only that they provided enough food, but they also covered the ground and prevented other weeds from sprouting, because as you can see where I'm digging and removing these sweet potato leaves and vines, there isn't any weeds growing because the all the vines and leaves don't allow any light to go in, which will prevent any weeds from growing. These sweet potatoes did take quite a while to mature because they were planted in September and harvested in late May. This is only a fraction of the total harvest because there were a lot more sweet potato plants and vines in the other bed, which has not been harvested yet. Another good thing with these sweet potatoes is that the leaves are also edible. Well, not really at this stage, but when they're nice and green and fresh, they actually taste a bit like spinach and they can be eaten raw in like salads or just cooked like regular spinach. Some of the sweet potatoes, if you notice, has some damage, which is from the rats who burrow under the soil and nibble on the tubers. One thing we also learned when growing these is to make sure that you have enough drainage because otherwise the tubers will be very watery and not good for frying. But the next time when we harvest sweet potatoes or grow them, I probably won't use a fork as it could damage some of them, but any of the ones that were damaged or bruised from the fork, we just consumed them first and all the volunteers that come at the garden, we told them to consume those ones first. 